bubbly presenter Holly Willoughby is a public favorite, her presence receiving rave reviews everywhere from this morning to dancing on nice. However, as the 40-year-old has revealed, being a TV sensation is not as effortless for her as it looks, and it has taken time to find the confidence to fearlessly show all aspects of her personality. I've been at this morning for 12, 13 years. And it is a grueling show, she has confessed. Confronted with hard-hitting material on the show, the natural empath would be reduced to tears, something that she believes didn't always fit in with the TV world. Sometimes I can find myself in situations where I have really absorbed the energy of what's going on, she continued. I can feel it so much that I start to feel like it's happening to me. I could empathize so much that the emotion would be rising up in me and I would just start crying," she told Grazia earlier this week. At first, Holly was fearful of making waves due to the environment that was sometimes around her. It took me a really long time to feel comfortable and go, why? Why do we not do that? Why are you not allowed to feel emotion?" she explained. Over time, however, the evidence spoke for itself, Holly's emphatic and sensitive presenting style was relatable, and it was winning the hearts of viewers. People were saying, I'm watching this and I'm crying with you, Holly recalled the feedback. If I was at home watching this, I would be crying too. What's the difference? We're all real people. With real emotions, I'm not going to worry about this anymore. She added, crying, is seen as being a weakness, as a feminine trait, and success, up until quite recently, looked more like a man than a woman. This was hard for me. However, she has gradually found the confidence to rebrand and reveal her authentic self to the public, and has been reaping the rewards from it. Her self-help book Reflections earned her a place on the Sunday Times bestseller list. You know, it took a really long time to build up my confidence and resilience and get to the point where the stuff in this book had to come out and I wasn't afraid of what people might think of it, she confessed. She then launched her lifestyle website Wild Moon, which has some similarities in style to Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. The site is a celebration of alternative therapies, crystal healing, and articles with a feminine slant. Though some critics have branded Holly wacky, she is undeterred. Wild, is an old word for wild that usually meant untamed and was usually used about women. I was like, good. I want to be an untamed woman. Because if anyone's going to tame me that means I've fitted into the parameters that somebody else has created," she revealed. I'm not afraid of the reaction to it anymore. If it doesn't fit with what your thoughts and expectations of me are, well then there's nothing I can do about it. I can't change that. I don't want to change that. And I'm not going to change that. This is me.